Educators say filling positions is still a big concern as students come back to campus. We assumed that we were going to be able to recruit more staff. It's been impossible. It comes as agencies across the state are struggling to hire. We need four more servers right away. We talk about staffing shortages a lot. Hospitals, restaurants, police departments, schools, even airports. So you're probably wondering, why are there so many open jobs and so few people wanting to fill them? There's not one reason that there's still all these hiring shortages, right? That's correct. To try and find an answer, we asked three economy and labor experts. Curtis Graves is with the Employers Council. Kishore Kulkarni is a distinguished professor of economics at MSU Denver. And Matt Klaus is a professor of finance at the University of Denver. They all agree on one thing. This is pretty unusual. We have never ever seen anything like this. We have never seen anything like this. So this isn't normal, but this past year wasn't either. Here are some reasons we're seeing so many open jobs, according to Curtis, Kishore, and Mac. Some people are still afraid to go back to work because of COVID. Others don't want to pay for childcare and would rather stay home. Then there are people who have become accustomed to living off unemployment benefits. Lots of other job seekers are asking for more benefits. Signing bonuses everywhere, up wanted signs everywhere. In the short run, what we're finding is employers are having to to pay bonuses, pay higher wages. People are saying, how can I find a job which will let me work at home? So what's the solution? They say time will help in the long run and more perks could make an impact quickly. There are a lot of people who would like to continue to work from home, but a lot of industries that are struggling to hire, like the restaurant industry, for example, that's simply impossible. Kyle, the experts I spoke with say that you can expect that these industries will continue to offer more benefits to try to lure that workforce back in. So, Mark, it's pretty clear at this point that the pandemic wasn't just something that happened to us. Pandemic is something that changed us as a workforce and a society. Exactly. And we also learned a lot. I mean, think of child care, for example, with everybody staying at home. A lot of families realize that it might be cheaper for one of the, uh, the two uh, spouse to stay at home and take care of the children instead of sending them to child care. So even with the pandemic, even with the economy now reopening, it's continuing to have an effect. Mark Salinger, who asked our boss for permission to work from the roof tonight, and she said yes. Thank you, Mark.